City Sport Desk. Well, it may interest you to know that Rosa Aria was not born in Nigeria. How she got to know about these dances, like the shocky dance we saw her really displaying, I do not know. But it's certain one of the girls, one of the girls from the NWFL, must have taught her to dance that <laughs> how to dance. Me, maybe her roommate. Way. Delta, if you want to be inaugurated, you need to learn one or two dance steps. And again, two Nigerian like dance steps. Success has many friends. She so killed it. She very well. You could see she the excitement. And for that, one of the beauty of team, it's one of the things that bonds them together. So I wish her all the best with the squad. Hopefully. She does it like this. You don't even think she'll be segregated from the squad. She's Absolutely. definitely part of them like this. This is how to integrate players. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right. Um, Sama Madu covers women's football and the rights for gold.com. He's live on the program now. Uh, Sam, uh, looking at the progression of the Super Falcons uh, at the summer series from the loss to Jamaica to the draw against Portugal, would you say this team has promise? Yeah, well, I think uh, we're excited about the opportunities our team have seen so far. Uh, and again, for me, I think it's also uh, a, a, an epic one for the national team, especially understanding the fact that uh, for over a decade, we haven't uh, at any point in time before going into an African qualifying series uh, play more than two games uh, in build-ups. And I think this time we're going to be having our seventh to, uh, sixth game tonight, uh, all in the build-up to the uh, African Women's Co of Nations qualifiers. I think this is historic, and I think it's commendable too uh, for what the Federation has been doing and ensuring that we have our players uh, come together, camp again after uh, many months of hiatus. And I think this is amazing. And uh, for regarding the progress of the team uh, so far, I think it's it's just encouraging, no doubt. Understand the fact that uh, we had uh, quite a number of players missing, at least half a dozen key players left out, and we still have these uh, players together despite. Uh, the jet lag, despite all the travel hitches they faced and the visa issues, uh, they still managed to come together and at least ensure they give their best. Again, uh, it, it can't come any much bigger and smaller. Uh, when you play against teams like Portugal, Jamaica, USA, this is practically much like a World Cup tournament for Nigeria. And I think uh, the quality of performance they put up just shows you that there is great prospect. Uh, the promise is huge and the, the, the opportunities are also uh, unlimited because one, the players we've seen so far, new legs, uh, foreign bonds, even the home base player who has also managed to hold their own. Uh, we can't just be excited enough because uh, the future is bright, I must say. And I think the new legs we've seen, just like you, you guys are better analyzed. The, the Michel, uh, Aloise, the, the, the Rosa, Arillo, uh, quite a number of players, the former, you know, so quite a number of them, the, the, the Pain sisters. I think we, we've seen very great number of players, Vivian, and some other players we are still waiting to see. And I think uh, uh, four also out of ten home-based players already been tried out. I think we just can't wait to see how much many of them will get to blend and also integrate. And also those who will be in the long-term plans of the coach outside having seen uh, th themselves being tested for the national team. But overall, I think uh, it's, it's just a great event we've seen. Uh, obviously, it looks like we're good enough to even win the opening two games, but now we're standing, I think, it's a learning phase. It's also build, it's a build-up to the qualifiers, and it's better. Uh, it's not a win at all costs. If we lose these games, but get to win against Ghana, that's, for me, it's important. But at the same time, uh, the performance against Portugal definitely put us in good stead uh, to, to have a, a good rise on the FIFA rankings. And at the same time, whatever performance we also put up against the U.S., definitely we speak volume for us. 38 in the world playing against first in the world. It's never been easy any time that Nigeria goes up against you, especially recording the last occasion we met in Canada 2015. So, uh, which the coach okay. back then did, did, did acknowledge was their toughest game uh, going in the run in the run into winning that title in 2015. So, mm -hmm. I think for tonight, one, it's uh, really keen to see the best uh, of the team again, see a lot of improvement at least. Uh, obviously, we know so much is expected from Randy Wardrop, and definitely uh, playing on his, uh, in his in his home state and mm -hmm. also against his home country mm -hmm. as a as a Nigerian, as a coach of Nigeria, he would definitely would not want to disappoint. Absolutely, and though he's from the United States, Wardrop, as far as today's game is concerned, he will become a Nigerian. Thank you so much, uh, Sam Amadou.